Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube vlog, which is just about me chatting to you on my walk on a Sunday morning with Binky Stinky the Cockapoo. And where is she, Binky? There she is. We're on the beautiful South Downs in Catherington. And uh, as you see, the views are amazing. You get lots of families taking their dogs out for walks, getting some fresh air, seeing the wildlife. And uh, it's just a great place to de-stress. Take in some fresh air and just listen to the birds singing in the trees. But what have I been doing this week? And what am I preparing to do next week? Well, to be honest, this week's been pretty good. We've had four new inquiries, which have come in through the website. Now, most of our leads start off with people watching us and following us on social media, like Instagram or Facebook. And then after maybe two, three, four, even six months, they may say, mm, okay, let's give Nick a call because we're looking to get our property refurbished, maybe in Fulham, South Kensington, Knightsbury, Belgravia, wherever it may be. But the relationship always starts on social media. So creating a bond with your clients, creating videos like this, good or bad, but at least they know who you are, where you come from and what you do. So it's not a, like a complete cold call. So when they do message me for the first time and I walk into their house, they say to me, God, Nick, it feels like I know you already. Well, that's the whole purpose of content creation, brand awareness, building your personal brand, me, Nick Jeffries. And um, yeah, at least it gets the foot in the door. I just want to talk about mental health and how it has affected me over the last maybe five years. Starting with my ex-business partner, setting up a company behind my back, taking projects out of new, putting them into another company. And I was the last person to find out. We were flying. We were doing huge projects, huge development opportunities, but it wasn't good enough for him. He wanted to take it on on his own. So the rug was pulled underneath us in 2017. We had to reset and go again. Super stressful. And then recently, someone walked into my life, said they were a chartered quantity surveyor and he had his own contracting business as well and he wanted to be a delivery partner so basically he wanted to offer a full service to deal with our projects i.e help me price them up and also help me build them out using his teams it took me a while to trust him but after three or four months of him and his team coming into my office, sitting, having cups of tea and telling me how wonderful he is, I gave him the opportunity to price one job. Lo and behold, he won this job. And the job started. It was going OK, no problems to report. So I was, th I was thinking, well, OK, this is a good little setup. Let's try it again priced it and won it again so in the end we had over six or seven months we had probably five or six projects on the go but there was a but it all started to unravel i think the late part of 2021 when projects weren't moving forward quick enough 
clients were paying too much money for the work which has already been created. And basically, it came to a head. We found out that documents were being fraudulently edited, valuations were being inflated, invoices were being forged, and there was only one solution. That was to get a lawyer involved. And once he knew the lawyer was involved, it was him attacking us. His true colours were coming out. I found out he was never a chartered quantity surveyor. I found out all of the accreditations on his website were fake. I found out he's done this to multiple clients, which I am speaking to. We found out he was a right colourful character. But the people who were affected were the clients which were involved, i.e. my clients. So my reputation was damaged because the clients paid deposits. The clients paid hard earned money to get their projects up and running. All of which is my responsibility to monitor. But him and his team, he had four other boys with him. They did a proper job on me. All were part of the scam. All were there for a reason to make me drop my guard, to manipulate the situation, to manipulate the clients to pay more money. Yes, I was the gatekeeper. They got round me like they got round four other families, private individuals. We we're a company. He actually did it to four or five individual families, taking millions from them. So the truth of it was we had to close one of the companies because there was no way we could afford to pay nearly £500,000 back to my customers who trusted new So as you know, building a brand is really hard. It takes a long time. Destroying a brand can happen overnight. So I've been fighting and fighting to pull myself out of it, to show everyone and tell everyone the truth. This is the truth. Binks, come on. And um, hopefully this person and his cronies will have their comeuppance and karma will come round and bite them on the arse. So the moral of the story is, unfortunately, you can't trust anyone. Sad, isn't it? Well, that affected my mental health. So all of 2022, I was in a dark place. So me being a true entrepreneur can get over most things like I have in the past and I will probably have to do it again and again. So that is the story of what's happened with me over the last three, four, five years. How my mental health has been damaged, probably. So that's the end of my 
weekly rant and chats and catch up. Hope you all have a fantastic day. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Have a great day. See ya. Bye.